So we're in the yards here today at Te Awa Awa. These ewes here have been uh, freshly weaned, so the lambs are gone and they're away. We're in the process now of actually taking out our cow culls, uh, marking them and uh, oh, checking their teeth, looking at their udders. Uh, it's an ideal time to uh, condition score you. So here I've got my Beef and Lamb New Zealand um, U body condition scoring made easy uh, cheat sheet. So I look on this and, and we're looking at the period management weaning to mating. And we're basically looking for all ewes that are below condition score three. And on the back, on the back here we have uh, the Totally Vets, uh, a quick and simple way using the hand, which uh, Trevor showed in the wool shed before. So now Trevor's just going to demonstrate how easy it is to go up this whole race of ewes, mark all the ones of chalk that are below condition score three. The way that I condition score is feeling across the short ribs, which are behind the ribs in front of the hip bone. And all I'm feeling for is the cover on the ends of those bones. So how smooth is it on the ends of those bones? And then I'm just trying to identify the ewes that are below three or that are three or better. And if that's solely my objective, I can go through a race full of ewes very quickly, um, assessing them as needing to be taken out or have just been, just been left in the mob. Three and a half. Two, four, two and a half, three. So Trevor's just using the one site, the short ribs, very quick and easy. And as you can see, he's putting a mark on all the ones below condition score three. So very quick to do a race full. You might be uttering the ewes, checking for crook udders and uh, mouthing the ewes at the same time. So you can combine them or you might be drenching your use. You can combine it with different management practices. Looking at these ewes in a race behind me, they all look very much the same and visually does not pick up the range that there is in condition score. Because I've been through these ewes and they range from one and a half to four, which you certainly cannot pick up by just looking at them. So here we are at the top of the drafting race on the drafting gates. We're going to watch these ewes flow through and see if you can look at them visually coming towards you and see if you can tell which ones are the poor condition school ewes. So Trevor's just been up the race and he's condition scored the ewes. He's put a mark on everything that's below condition score three. And just out of interest, we've actually ran, run that uh, mob of ewes. There was uh, 49 in total through these um, the scales here. And that's why we had to be a little bit careful about, uh, about weights. The average weight of this mob was uh, 62.7. But there was a big range in that. The lightest ewe was 45 kilos live weight and the top U was 89.6 kilos. So yeah, our average 62.7, which we'd think, yeah, that's actually, that's quite good. Um, be pretty happy with that at, at tupping, maybe a little bit heavier. But the one key thing is within that mob of 49 U's, there are actually 15 U's that were below condition score three. And they're the ones we need to target and, and draft off. So 15 over 49, we're looking at about 30% of, of this mob of ewes uh, is actually a tail end below condition score three that we have a, a real opportunity between now and tupping to um, lift those ewes up. 